Hello everybody, I'm Jeremy Fire, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Spearman's coefficient. Now before I begin, I'd like to ask you, if, if any of you have enjoyed my videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, this is an A-star topic, okay? Anyway, let's begin. So, say now we have a table. Now, I'll tell you what all these mean in a minute, because I didn't have enough room to fit them on the page. Or the whiteboard. <laughs> right, so these, uh, these uh, here, A to H, right, they're dancers, right, and... Uh, so A is dancer 1 and H is dancer 8. All right. Uh this first column is the uh, is the first judge and the second column is the second judge and this is the scores that they got. <sighs> now, we'll be using Spearman's coefficient and yeah, let's see what we do what uh, we get. So, the first thing that we do is we find the distance or the range between judge 1 and judges 2 answer. So the answer to that is 2, then 3, and then it's 4, and then it's 3, then it's 2, and then it's 0, and then it's 5, and then it's 3. There we go. Now what we're doing, so we're doing our answer we just got, and then it's squared. So 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, 4, 0, 25, and 9. Right. Now what we're doing is we're going to add up the d squared column. So let's see. Let's see who can, who can get it done first. Ready? On your marks, get set, go. 29. Right, I've got 76. Right, let's just check with Siri. 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 25 plus 9. Yes! Right. 76. So, we can we can now start to work out our formula. But it also means I'm going to have to rub out this. The whole table, right? There we go. Right. So now we're going to be doing 6 and then times 76, I don't know why I wrote 79, it's 76, so that's the top half and then it's divided by, and then we have, now I, I never mentioned this but N is like the amount of numbers that they were. And remember, it was 8 to H, so it was 8, the 8th dancer. So and then we have 8 times 63. Why is it 63? Well, if we have N, which is 8, N squared is 64, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's N squared minus 1. So, yeah, 8 times 63. If we do that, we get... 6 times 76. It's 456. Right, so we get... Hang on, I'll, I'll do it bigger. What is it? 456. So we have 4, 5, 6 over... 8 times 63. It's 504. 5, oh, 4. And then, we divide them. 456 divided by 504. That would be 4.912. I put and add 4. Hang on. It's 8.912. <laughs> right. 456 divided by 504. The answer is about 0 0.9047. Right. So it's 0 0.9. Right? <laughs> 0 0.9 or 
or 0.90 if you want to render to two to two D to do two DP or 0.905 if you want to render to three DP. So now we've done this part, right? Done, and it's gonna fall. Not if I save it though. Kind of. There we go. So now we have to do one minus 0.905. One minus not point nine oh five. It's zero point zero nine five. And the answer is zero point zero nine five. So that's the formula for a uh, spearman coefficient. That's how we do it, and it shows that there is no link between what judge one and judge two have said. Right. Anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this helpful. This was quite a long video considering it's a math tutorial. It's an A-star topic though, so it's well worth it in the end. Have a good day and uh, enjoy some lovely hot chocolate.